it's just about being on stage. Oh, right. Just about being a rock star. Uh, yeah. The feeling you get on stage. Yeah, it's about that and, and how it's how certain stuff is projected onto you from the audience, but it, it really feels like the real thing. I think we can see a bit of it now, actually, coming up, so we can get some idea what it's like. Yeah, what a handsome fun. <laughs> feel Nick uh, to be to know that Radio 1 is not going to touch your scene mm -hmm. and Radio 2 of course will make it album of the week well Radio 2 have been really good but there's, there's still places on Radio 2 where they think oh it's a bit uh, it's a bit raunchy for us to take it to Radio 1 so you take it to Radio 1 and go go away you old git <laughs> They don't really so, say that. Well, words to that effect, yeah. I mean, it's just frustrating that all over the place there is, uh, like, um, a directive from above saying, don't play 80s stuff. Don't play 80s stuff, really and that's cool. what you are. Well, uh, with us also is TV and uh, radio promotions, Mike Irving. Mike, is it, is it moved on since Nick was in the top ten? Uh, well, the industry's moved on, yeah. I mean, there's some fantastic new bands out there. Dance music's never been better. There's some great rock bands coming through. And then amongst all of that, you have somebody like Blondie that's just gone to number one. So, uh... Yeah. So what does he need to do to get up there with the likes of Blondie? She's made a comeback, why can't Nick? Well, Nick does not made a comeback. Nick has been around for ages. He just decided to make an album for himself instead of writing for other people. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so the, the album's there. I mean, he's got an album, there's no greatest hits on it. You know, there's no throwaway tracks. It's called 15 Minutes, and uh, hopefully this time next year. When a lot of the other bands have died away, people will be buying that album. But the industry's changed, hasn't it? I mean, you don't think it has. The, the hype well, builds up from My either. job hasn't changed. You know, I make records. Uh, Mike's job's probably changed a lot. Yeah. How's yours yeah. been changed? Well, I think it's tougher now to break acts, that's for sure. The, the, the major record companies have got the monopoly on this and spend huge amounts of money in doing that. Nick has got an independent company, Eagle Records, which have really come through and backed the album with commitment. Uh, you're up against adversity, but at the end of the day, if you've got a great album like he's got, it should sell. Uh, but the marketing is part of it, isn't it? Look at the money that's gone into it. Of course it is. Uh, Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I can't deny that. But at the end of the day, if you've got great songs and you've got enough exposure, and that's provided by people like me, then in time, um, people will realise it's great. If you want an album that's in between The Cores, Lighthouse Family, and Robbie Williams, then you buy Nick Kershaw's album. So where do you think it will, where do you think it'll go? What do you hope to achieve? Well, I just hope it gives some some visibility for the album, really, and say, look, I'm back, I've made an album I'm really proud of, it's 1999, here we are. Well, we'll be here to see exactly uh, where <coughs> you look like charting on Friday. Uh, that's all from us here in the, uh, the recording studio. It's back to you, John Sophie, in London.